Hey guys, here today I'm going to be telling, teaching you how to set up Cloudnet in English because there is a lot of German tutorials and not a lot of English so we're going to go ahead and make an English tutorial on how to use Cloudnet. So I am going to be making a virtual machine of Linux, any type of Linux that's over version 16. Uh, I do recommend the latest version of um, LTS version. So yeah, give me one second. We will be downloading Jellyfish um, just for this, um, just for this um, tutorial, and this is gonna be like future-proof sort of. So yeah, um, I'm gonna be installing Ubuntu 22.04. Okay, we got our Ubuntu version. Go here, download, click that, open. Next and finish. Oh, look at that. 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 Look yeah, TPM, I use the Microsoft UEFI certificate authority with enable trust platform. Um, if you're on Windows um, or above, you can do that. Just a microphone speaker. So we're going to choose English. Update installer. This is going to be useful. And so it looks like we're done. I just keep the default settings, Ubuntu server. Uh, my IP does not matter. Hopefully IP6 enabled, correct. Um, because I don't have IP6 on this um, internet. Um, we keep the proxy address at default. Uh, since I live in the US, you can do CA or you can do normal. You can actually look up what type of um, uh, my mirror addresses that you want. I prefer US or Canadian mirrors. Um, I'm not going to set up um, this disk as an LVM disk, which is use the entire disk uh, because this is just a test one. Nothing is really going to be quote unquote protection, continue. Um, and this is not gonna be a public server. We're gonna set up um, security on that so no one just tries hacking it while I'm doing it. Um, I'm gonna give myself short passwords and stuff. You should use long passwords, but I'm just gonna give myself some short passwords. It will allow you to do that. So we're gonna install open um, open SSH. You want to hit spacebar to uh, enable that. Done. Uh, this is all useless to me. If you need any of these, you can enable them by default, like Docker. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. I did not. Nah, it closed. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to hit done before I screw something up. So now it's going to install them. And this may take a bit, depends on your CPU and depends on your um, speed of your storage and probably your internet speed as well.
Okay, so we're done. So, oh. so we're just gonna hit reboot now. It's gonna fail. So we're just gonna. So, with hypervisor, we're just gonna have to do. It already ejected. The we're gonna move the CD down. The hard drive up. Network should not be there unless you're using a network boot bootable device. Hit OK. And it should do its own thing now. There you go. And we just type in our passcode that we entered. And here we go. Let is let's get started with making our uh, Linux server. So there's a couple ways you can do it. You can do it your way, or you can do it my way, or you can hybrid it. So we will have to go to the CloudNet. Here we are. Uh, turn on night mode so you guys don't. Uh, or I'll just cut it so you guys see it. So here are your requirements, two virtual cores, two gigabytes of memory, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to install our Java and we're going to have to install screen, which they tell you right here. Right here, we can do that real easy. Um, oh, I hate. Today's sponsor is by Bisect Hosting. If you type in Bisect Hosting slash Vanilla, you'll get 25% off on your first purchase on your, one of your Minecraft servers. It can be Java or Bedrock, depending on which you want to roll. Preferably Java, because you know, that's where everything is modded. So, Bisect Hosting has a lot of things to offer. Cheap up to uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM, which I don't... So when you're about to check out your Minecraft server, sometimes the code slash vanilla doesn't work on all browsers. So if you want to really support me, you can always go down to here and continue. Oh shoot. And make sure you use code vanilla right there. Validate code. It says that it's for new customers only, but if you're a new customer, you should use my code. Here you go. Don't know what else to say. I guess here's an image. Yep. Okay. See ya. Bye. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna just type in what I've done. Okay, here we go. So we can minimize that. We'll use a terminal for SSH, so I don't have to box my other dedicated servers because, you know, it's security reasons. So we're just going to copy and paste that. Um, screen is art. Looks like screen was already installed. I don't know how that happens, but okay, so we're going to do apt update apt upgrade uh, if I can spell minus y uh, because we're we're not in root we're just gonna have to do pseudo everything Since we just started, I'm just going to hit restart everything, basically. There we go. We should install wget, which is already installed. Install. And zip. That looks like it was not installed. If you're going to use, um, like, 
a certain Minecraft version for all your networks, then yes. But if you're going to have a multiple mix of um, Java versions, we're going to have to do it um, something completely different. So we're going to first run a sudo apt-get install java jdk. So we're using open jdk for this. Uh, we're going to do minus y. Or dash y. If you guys like art. I'm not a Linux person, but I know a few things around Linux. So we're going to install java 8. Then we're going to keep adding more java version. But we're not going to uninstall the old Java. That's what people would have done. Java 8, Java 11. Yes. yes, there might be like security risks on doing this way, but at least when it comes to Minecraft, it won't complain that you're missing a Java version. So we've done 11. We'll do 16. And I'm going to do that. Okay, but Java 17 is here. That is um, an issue with certain Minecraft versions that require Java 16. But yeah, we, right now we can skip that. And yeah. Weird. Um, I guess this version or this um, Ubuntu does not have Java 16 ported correctly. You can always manually install Java 16, but I'm not going to do that just for this video. So we are going to CD um, anywhere. Basically, you're going to have to make a direct directory. So let me do sudo make directory. I'm just going to call it CloudNet, and then we're going to we're going to check what we have. We do have CloudNet, so we're going to do CD CloudNet. The CloudNet has its own thing, so we're going to copy the documentation on wget CloudNet zip. Okay, sudo. There we go. Pseudo unzip planet. Thing instead of copy panel. I'm gonna do that and then okay. Let's do. Oops, I just hit microphone. You can you copy the right one, please? Thank yous. I'm gonna just pseudo that. There we go. Okay, here we go. Yes. Um, do zero dot zero dot zero dot zero. Fourteen. Zero dot zero dot zero. Zero. Um, we can do Damatran. Uh, no. We're saying no to multi root unless you already set this up before, but I'm going to say no. What should the environment of the proxy? So, we got Water Dog, which is Garbage Bedrock Edition. Garbage Bedrock Edition. Velocity is a good one in Bungie Cord. So, I will use bungee cord in this tutorial and I'll be using waterfall as papers um, bungee cord. Go knit, I have no clue. Nugget, I have no clue. Lowstone, no clue. And our first default, which should be Minecraft server, we are going to be using paper 1.19. Um, I'm going to say no to these because they make it weird and i want my thing to be completely different. so now it's going to install all these packages that it has to do go so, 
and we're going to be kind of teaching you um, the basics. So right now, I'm not going to touch any of the CloudNet modules. I'm not going to be touching any of of CloudNet's um, configuration in this tutorial, but I might do that in a future tutorial um, if this gets a little popular or if you guys request it. So we are going to do first is task setup. Uh, task setup. I don't know why tasks it should be that. It should be just task, but whatever. So I'm going to call this YouTube proxy. Um, YouTube MC proxy. You can name it whatever the heck you want. You will just leave it at proxy. So in this proxy, we should just have the normal default 512. Should this task be in maintenance by default? I usually say no because it's hard to un maintenance. Should the service be automatically unregistered? So that means I always use yes because it can cause issues if you say no. Should the services of this task be stack? So this question always I always read the first part. Should the service be um, static? Yes. So that means that their files are never deleted. That's, they should have a period there or one of these things, but you know, you know, they're German. I think it's different in German. Oh, well, so we're going to hit yes, because this is our proxy. It should not be using a master template. That'd be stupid. How many of the services should we have online? Always use one. I don't know how you set up multi-proxy. That's kind of a weird subject to get into, but you can do multiple proxy if you set up like a multiple cluster route. So this will be a bungee cord. So this is where we can choose anything. Bungee cord, it should be default to 25565. And we're going to be using Waterfall, the latest version of Waterfall. And it should be creating a proxy right here. My name is YouTube-MCProxy1. Now, we can actually take a look at the console by console toggle um, YouTube-MCProxy1. Um, it just says it's being started. Really, our network adapter or our network settings being, since it's not static correctly, we're gonna have to connect it to our actual thing. So when I mean thing, I virtual switch. disconnect us from the internet and it's going to reconnect us to the internet when done start this with a new network I just forgot something. this should be yeah no no yeah that that, that explains like, wait, did I ever switch it off the default switch? I don't see it in my um, network. Stuff. Ah, here we go. 10. Honestly. We'll do something. We're actually gonna reset this.
Okay, so we're back to the unzipping process. We're going to use FileZilla to make this all them writable. Or 777, if you guys want to do that. Go and start a sentence. Okay, so this is what we need to see. Was successfully connected to the channel. Okay, so we just needed a, a completely compatible IP that it can do. Um, so we can toggle this, and here's our console. So it is now connected. So if we launch Minecraft real quick, if Minecraft will ever launch on this computer, I will use CurseForge because Apparently, Minecraft does not like. Yeah, Minecraft just never wants to launch. So I don't know what's up with Minecraft and not ever launching. So I'm just not gonna, not gonna deal with them. Desire will download. We can toggle off. So toggle. There we go. So that we don't get any more updates. We can do slash clear to clear the mess of how many things is on the screen. Then we can do test. Um, that's all. So we can go here. YouTube tutorial. Ten out of two four. I put there we go one millisecond right there it says cloud net earthquake 3.4 we're going to leave that for now so it is pingable we're going to do tasks we're going to set up our like hub slash lobbies uh, so we're going to just do you to do lobby uh, I'm going to do usually a minimum amount. This should this task be in maintenance by default? No. The services? Yes. Should this be static? Now I'm going to say no because this is a lobby. If you need a lobby that needs to be updated, uh, you can make a... Or you can make a, like, um, a server that doesn't do that. So, like, a dev lobby dev lobby then you can um, actually push that map into a different template um, so we want we can have one Minecraft server running Minecraft server you can do any port I would like to do like three lobbies as a 3000 port one point each different versions make sure you have the right Java version installed on your Linux system. Good. I'm going to say yes and yes to those. And I will show you guys what those do in a second. So we have successfully created a lobby. Now be aware that every time you start lobby, it's always going to be different. So for sake of this video, I'm going to just lobby map 1.18 or some I usually do Planet Minecraft. Oops. Okay, so we got like a island spawn. This is just for an example. I don't own this 
map at all. We are going to use FileZilla to import that into our template so it can always be using it, no matter what we do. Okay. Okay, so I had to block stuff out. On that, so our templates, if we go to our templates, um, you could see that, actually, if you go to services, you can see that this is always active. So this is like an actual true Minecraft server with no master template. So that will always key blocks and stuff. However, since we're using the lobby version, this is our, it's always going to use this as no world, which is a problem. So I'm just going to do this. Yes, you can do that with WinLar. I'm going to name this world. Um, we can delete the config folder since we're not using sponge. Sponge is disgusting, by the way. And that's about it. We are using purple, uh, paper, blah, 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 done. That means if we go ahead, because right now, if you connect to the server, uh, um, it's not configured incorrectly. Let's go double check. Let's go to double check that in our services uh, config. Nope. Okay. That falls. can add servers if this doesn't always work, which it never has worked. I'm going to change this to 10 points. Or I think that's the issue. Is using 10, it's not using 10, 5, 2, 5, 4. Okay, so if you always get that issue, like I always do, you will just have to add it manually. Or add something manually, then YouTube lobby. There we go. So I just had to manually enter. Uh, we're on a super fun world, so I have no clue what spawn is. Or what the spawn is. Console. Right. OP. The trash cloud perms permission, which I would say I wouldn't manage, but it's actually in the way of what I'm trying to do. So we can all 
bunch of jewels. Um, cloud perm. We just delete the jar. And we just delete that. And then we just gotta restart the entire cloud man server. So if if you're using like look perms, cloud perm, cloud net perms will always override it. So just delete the jar if you're using luck perms, because luck perms is always the better option in my opinion. Uh, we're gonna start SSH again. And that was fast because I'm using a SSD, like all fucking data center shows. Look at that. No problem. And console toggle lobby one, which console write op myself. There we go. Now I can do game over creative. There we go. And, or I can do F3 and M. Okay. Okay, yeah. So here's our spawn. So for example, if this is your development um, spawn, set world spawn, game rule spawn radius is zero, so you always spawn on this block. I just don't know what that means. Look it up. I am. You spawn here or yeah this is the center part so now we completely modify how the spawn is um we are going to do cloud die that's it right there there we go so we're going to do cloud at um I don't have permission, so we're gonna just do it in the console. Now, if we wanna um, toggle that console here, you will always wanna um, upload that map to a template, so or re-upload it to the master template. All we have to do, um, we're gonna do, I think it's copy. Copy YouTube to Hobby One to YouTube. There we go. There was a way. It's just it, it's hard to understand the direction. So this is how you would do it manually, which I love doing things manually. There is a command way, but I'm not going to get into that. So actually, we don't go here we don't go to local we actually go to temporary folder services and we get this lobby we will copy the world so basically um where you can i'll just upload it here upload the world here and i would do is delete player data Deleted. Okay. And that's about it. I would just delete the player data. If you... So, for example, if I move over here and I uploaded this, I will always spawn here. But if I delete the player data, that'd be fine. Then, once you download the world or you got the copy of the world, you want to go to your local and you go back to templates the lobby default so it will always use this world but we'll delete this world and, um, why did i let's just re-upload the world stop the server 
Server has closed. Thing again. And now, since we manually copied. Oh, right here. Copy a running service to a specific. Yeah, that. Yeah, I just I just read that. You know, there there's the command. Is the copy command? Maybe I'll get another example. Here we go. We'll just connect. And so, so we did it. Deleted our player data. We are here. Okay, maybe I should not have. Here's your oh. That's that's a that's my headset. Oh. So yeah, here we go. We're in lobby, and for example, if I said, what if I did? What if I updated this lobby? I kicked everyone out. I did. And this was successful. Fully copied. So we're gonna have that. And I don't have perms, so that's cool. So this was successfully copied, so that means I would have to so copy YouTube Lobby 1 to Alt right here. I'm gonna give a bunch of errors. This axe is running off. Why is that root? Really, really difficult. That would be difficult. That, that's probably why it didn't copy. Let's redo that. Okay. Why is copying? There we go, no errors. Okay, so we copied that world. So this was successfully copied. Uh, we're gonna stop. Don't have access to stop. But, for example, let's make a lobby two. Well, how do we get lobby two? What we can do is player first. We can always do help first to get our info and um, we do Um, task well set I would do set the minimum service count two so this will make a second one so I can do server okay uh, so, uh, so I would do player 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 Lobby team. Here we go. Um, that update, but I don't know why that didn't update. But you can tell that if you manually copy it and do it correctly, you can see that um, you can see that this what is using the master template. So it's good. I'll have to figure out why that copy thing did not correctly. Um, I don't know why it didn't do it correctly, but you can tell that. So yeah, now you can do your plugins and etc. Maybe um, actually get a builder to make your own map. <laughs> so yeah, so this is basic tutorials on how to get set up with making multiple lobbies and stuff. So you can see now I'm in two. Um, you would probably have to set up your permissions to have players use the slash connect or have a custom connect feature or whatever you want to do. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial if there is one. Oh, yeah. Let me know what you need to, to learn. I'll probably teach you correctly.
um, the fallback servers do not work, honestly. They just don't work. They they broke it somewhere. It just doesn't ever work. So yeah, don't rely on it. 